Hey guys, this is Neutron Star. Welcome to my bathroom lab. In the first video, I made some dilute sulfuric acid. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to make a lead dioxide anode. This is substitution for expensive platinum electrodes because it's already oxidized, so it can be oxidized more. To make it, you need sulfuric acid, a lead bar, and power source. This process is just electrolyzing the dilute sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is an electrolyte, so the water inside the dilute acid can be electrolyzed to hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen comes out at the anode, so we can connect our lead bar to the positive charge and let the oxygen to oxidize the lead, then form lead dioxide. First thing we need to do is to cast the lead bar. Lead has a low melting point of 330 degrees C. So just by using a butane torch, I can melt it down. I have some lead chunks here. Let's melt it. Okay, we got some droplets of liquid metal, as you can see. When I think the metal is enough, I cool the lead and pull it back. Then I remelted the droplets to make it become the shape of a bar. When it's done, I cool it with some water and something happened. When it cooled down completely, I picked up the lead bar. It's pretty good, and let's get into the next step. Pull the dilute sulfuric acid we made last time to the container. Connect the lead bar to the positive charge. For the cathode, you can use copper, graphite, or any other inert electrodes. Make sure you connect the lead bar to the correct charge, or everything will go wrong. 
After an hour, you can see some black color on the lead bar. That's our lead dioxide anode down. You can recycle the acid you use, but it should contain some dissolving lead compounds. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in another video.